scandals. Bush. Number three, War Profiteer Gate. Now it's the Congressional Budget Office confirming our worst fears. This has largely been about not democracy, not threats, not freedom, but cash. By year's end, this survey says the American taxpayers will have given $100 billion of our money to private contractors doing business on the war in Iraq or here at home. That's about a fifth of all war costs. A little reminder, the purpose of having a war in Iraq is to have a war in Iraq. Number two, the gears grind slowly gate. The Democrats, flat-footed after Ron Suskind's revelation that the Bush administration had ordered a letter linking Saddam Hussein to 9-11 plotter Mohammed Atta, forged in 2003, still flat-footed even after the magazine The American Conservative confirmed the story, they have finally woken from their, from their slumber a bit. House Judiciary Chair John Conyers said today he has asked his staff to review the story of the forged document and other items reported by Suskind. No hearing jet, no testimony, no putting members of the administration in a stockade and provi providing everybody in the country with a carton of rotten eggs. Just a review. And number one, Cheney Gate. The proposition that the vice president is one living, breathing manifestation of corruption and scandal, underscored by news from San Diego that Mr. Cheney will be attending a fundraiser there for Republican Congressman Ken Calvert. In fact, he'll be delivering a speech on Representative Calvert's behalf at the event in a private house at the old Nixonian homestead of San Clemente. Congressman Calvert is one of the all-time greats. Once chosen one of the 22 most corrupt members of Congress, he's directed pork projects to a K Street lobbying firm while it was under a federal investigation. He's accompanied the long-since-caught Congressman Duke Cunningham on one of his happy sojourns to Saudi Arabia. He's been accused of personally profiting off an earmark attached to a piece of legislation. And 15 years ago, he was caught by police in a parked car with a prostitute as he tried to drive away, the police noted that Mr. Calvert insisted, we're just talking, that's all, while he, quote, continued to cover his unzipped pants with his hand. And the vice president is helping this man increase the size of his reelection fund.